Hello, hello, today I'm going to show you and talk with you around the steering wheel, controls and displays of your BMW Mini Cooper. This it is, your steering wheel in front of you. Let's start on the left side, the mirrors. Exterior mirrors, the front passenger's mirror is more convex than the driver's mirror. The up Objects you can use is to adjust the left or right interior mirror. And in some cases, your car has the option to fold mirrors in and out. Do not gog your distance from traffic behind you um, on the basis of what you see in the mirror. Now let's talk about the left buttons on um, the steering wheel. That means you can press the accepting and adding a call, dialing of select phone numbers and redialing if no phone numbers is selected. And on the other buttons you can redialing and volume up and volume down. Let's go to the right side of the buttons. The buttons on the right side of the steering wheel is for your cruise control. That means continuing cruise control, storing speed and accelerating or decelerating, active and deactivating cruise control on the right side of your steering wheel button. Let's go to the left lever. This lever is to set the parking lamps, low beams, automatic headlamp control, the turn signals, high beams, headlamp flasher, uh, roadside parking lamps, and of course, to get into the computer. There you can see the turn signal is on. And this has two options. One, if you dip it a little bit, then it will flash two times. And if you are dip it more, it will be on until you enter the um, the turn and completed the turn. And after you complete the turn, it will go automatically off. And then on the light, uh, on the left lever, you can rotate it. And so you can um, set the parking lamps on or the automatic headlamp control. As you can see, this is the automatic headlamp control. Then there is an O for off. Everything is off. After this setting, there comes the parking lamps. And after this, there will be the low beams, of course. And if you are pushing um, the lever, it will give your headlamp flasher. And if you hold it, or pull, uh, pull it, it, it will be a high beam zone, okay? But you can see this in your display in front of you if you use these settings. And on the side of the lever, you can push the computer button. And then as you can see, the computer is um, going to the setup. You can push and go to the different types of setup in um, or for this. And here you can see if your pull it is a, a little bit flashy and rotating is for the lamps, for the lights. And you can see if the light is on and some bulb is damaged, it will be have information in front of your heads up display. If you getting too off, the information is off course because no bulbs are on. The right lever will be for the wiper system. The left side, you can see it is for your signal and for your computer setup and the right lever is for the wiper system. These are the two main difference between these two levers. Left side is computer, light system and of course computer system and um, turn signal system. On the right side it is um, only for the wiper system. 
So there are many different types of wiper activities. Zero point is wipers parked. And number one into the upside is intermittent wipe or rain sensor. The second option is normal wiper speed. And the third step is fast wiper speed. If you go to the bottom side with a lever, it is switching off wipers or brief wipe. The fifth thing is if you only go down cleaning windshield headlamps. That means if you pull the lever, it will it will have a cleaning function for your um, wiper. And if you um, have this option, it will cleans your headlamps too. If it is built in and you are driving upside open, if the roof is open, this will have information for this. If it's open, there will be a clock to give you information about the time you are um, driving open. Let's go to the center display. The center display contains a tachometer, indicator and warning lamps. For example, there are so many warning lamps you can see at your front, um, like park brake uh, is on, like um, the turn signal is giving you information about the turn the light is on and um, the high beams or headlamp flasher is on and um, for example like this there it is um, the second thing on this is in the center of the display the display is for the clock for outside temperature for the current vehicle speed indicator and warning lamps too and if you can see on the right side, the button is resetting the trip odometer. And what, what's more, in the bottom side of your display in the front, that makes your information about the position of automatic transmission, the computer itself, the date of next shuttle service and remaining distance to be driven, odometer and trip odometer, initializing flat tire monitor settings and information personal profile settings and so many more and of course um, on the left side there will be the instrument lightning and um, this is all what your display contains in the front of you the next thing on the right side is um, the switch and the ignition there you can see that is the key switching the ignition on and off and starting stopping the engine by using the button. On the top side of the center console, there is a hazard warning flashes button. This is for hazard and um, indicates other people that you, um, you have some problems. Now we are in the center display. That means there is a speedometer. The speedometer contains the speed, how fast you are going on the street. But you can use the speedometer in a digital way into your front display, as you can see, by using the left lever button. And then you have a digital speedometer in the front and on the right side you have the the big speedometer on there there are so many different other indicator lamps or warning lamps of course and that will help you in case of malfunctions the different things maximum cooling uh, defrosting windows information and all the other things will shown you here in a little and uh, good overview display analog style on the right side there is full gong and on the bottom side it's a radio display and um, of course on the uh, under upper side there is a radio uh, the different radio control thing 
and uh, you can control the radio with this buttons here you can um, use your mobile phone by using this menu audio tracks etc this is full switching audio source on off and adjusting the volume the next setup thing is heating air conditioner or automatic climatic control temperature up ready recirculated air mode auc automatic air distribution for air conditioner and the different spaces air distributed into the windshield upper body area the food well and automatic air distribution flow on and off the maximum cooling range defrosting the windows rear window defrosting windshield heating if it is built in airflow rate etc let's go and choose the switches in the center console this is seat heating right and left there are two buttons for this one is for the left and one to the right then it makes power windows then the rear fog lamp, the central locking system inside. There you can see this is the power windows opening and closing system. The, the, now the uh, rear fog lamp, central locking system inside. If you would like to lock now the system, you can use the, the center button for this. And of course, you can switch on and switch off the fog lamps for this. That means two times seat heating system, um, then the power windows, the rear fog lamp, central locking system is in the center, and the fog lamps on the right side. And this is the central locking system. Now let's go to the driving stability control system. This is on the bottom side at um, at these places. That means DSC dynamic stability control on or off. Then the ASC all um, season tractor control. And if you do have this, that means it uh, will shut down at the traffic lights automatically. Oh, and of course, there will be a built in a spot button. One wizard is to left now. Oh, the upper parts. There will be a microphone for voice command system and for telephone enhanced remote. Indicator warning lamps for front passengers airbag. The reading lamps, the color of ambient light, glass, sunroof, electric and the interior lamps. And that it is. All these kind of things are around your steering wheel. And I hope you enjoyed a little bit this little voyage into your car. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me, give a positive feedback and see you next time. Soon soon.